Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you happen to be located on this gorgeous planet called Earth. I hope you are having a peaceful day, evening or night, wherever you happen to be located. Once more, welcome to my 3D channel on Blender. If you're curious about Blender, I welcome you to stay. Because my topic today is about collections. And it's not the simple collections that most YouTube videos show. I want to show you the power of collections. Now, I'm not a pro at it. Because I just now thought of this idea two days ago. So, to me, for me, it's still a work in process. I will put perfect my technique in the future but I always like to share what I know immediately when I learn something I like to share I, mean, I did I have practice so this is not the first demo but I've practiced so now I said it's on collections but to make my idea work as you when I click on this desk you see the desk is moving the chair the pencil and the two books. I have everything parenting. Parenting. If you need to know about parenting, they are a million videos on YouTube that will show you in detail what parenting is. I'm going to assume you already know how to parent, so I'm just going to move on. Now, looking here, my outlier is parented, but I have all my objects and a collection the collection called desk or um, it's called furniture and inside furniture I have now hold on for a minute I just don't start blender nine point I'm at 2.92 on my computer I like to uh, increase my window sizes 1.2 resolution scale did it scale up? Let me do some more. Okay, yes, it scaled up. I'll put it back to 1.2. 1. 1. So I'm sorry for the interruption. I just now installed Blender 9.2 using Snap. Using Snap. Okay, so back to this. So I have everything parented. Let me move my desk again to show you. I'm going to move it on the Y axis. Let me click over here on the Move tool and move it on my Y. So it's all parented, and the desk is the main parent. Over here, in my outlier, I have a collection called furniture. Inside that, I have another one called desk. And you see inside, I have my, I don't know what this cube is. I have a book, one, a book, two, a chair, and a pencil. So my objects. That's the beauty about collections compared to blended 2.79 and prior the all was in that little 20 20 uh 20 uh, square spaces but you see how powerful it is and i'm gonna show you the more of the power of the um collection then you know when you walk into any classroom you never see no one desk if you see one desk you will say what's going on with this room what's going on What's going on? And before I start working for the desk, I also want to get rid of these, uh, the axes. The green X for Y and the uh, red X for X. So let me get rid of that. I want to get rid of my floor, them grids, and I click on X and Y. Now my X is gone. So the central theme is just that desk. Now, here we go. I said I'm going to work all with collections. So I'm, I'm going to fold that back in. I'm going to right click. And I want to click on duplicate collection. Zap. Now unfortunately, when you hit duplicate, you don't see nothing happen. You have to, because the collection is right on top of the original collection. So I click on my collection. I want to hit control Y. And you see, there it is. A second copy. 
from here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to furniture one. Click on it. Duplicate. Let me go to my second day. See why? But it didn't work. So when you make duplicates in this case, you have to click back on your original, your starting one. I click on my start one. Hit G Y, and there you see my duplicate. Okay, so we moving along. So you see, at least in this classroom now, I have three desks, but compared to the floor, the floor space still looks sort of naked. But over here, you see, I have three collections: furniture, furniture one, and furniture two. Now I'm going to make a third collection, and this will set everything into motion. I'm gonna go over here in my outlier, right click. Click on new collection and I'm going to call this one. Uh, should I call it? I, I was calling it desk before. So I'll just call it class from this time. And for me, I like to always uppercase my collection title so I know it's a collection. So capital C, capital L, capital A, capital SS. Capital R, Capital O O, Capital M. Now I know it's a classroom. Now here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put a collection inside a collection. So I'm gonna go up here to all my furniture. The order don't matter. I'm gonna click on furniture two. Drag it right on top of classroom where I see it. It turns. In my case, it's a black highlight. I drop it. Furniture's in classroom. I click on furniture one. Left click. Left click your mouse button. Drag it down right on top. Now my classroom collection is highlighted. Drop it in. So you see I have two items in there. I click on furniture original. Drop it on my collection. It's highlighted. It's in. And look how wonderful my uh outlier look it don't look cluttered even though i got these three objects it doesn't look cluttered now here is the magic that's going to happen i right click i click on my classroom right click and choose duplicate collection and you see it open it up there's a lot of stuff in there so i, I want to close it it's called classroom one now, I have to click on my first desk. I'm gonna hit G X, and you see, wow, it's gone. It's over. I'm gonna click on my second desk, hit G X, and I pulled it over. Wonderful. And I click on my third desk, grab X, and there. Now, the thing I I wish I could do. I wish I could have made it into uh, a parenting, but you got to remember, to do that, I had to go back to my first three desks where my mouse is and highlight and parent all of these. That was sort of cumbersome, but you can do that. But you saw, when I right clicked on the classroom, it made an instance of every desk. I'm going to click on it again. So I can at least have, but I, oh, I want to space it out some more. Let me space it out. Right click, space it out some more. Good. All right, now, I'm going to right click on uh, Classroom 1. Let's see what happened. Right click on it. Click Duplicate Collection. Let me go back to this table right here. I hope it works. Nope, it didn't work. So we might have to go back to the original collection that started off. Click that. And you see it works. So that's what you gotta so you gotta remember, you may have to go back to your starting collection. That's the only downside. That's the only downside. You gotta go to the first one. See and but they all coming out. And they all coming out. See look how look how beautiful that is. So my desk, well, I'm, I'm going to try to evenly space it. I'm going to try. I'll just tap it over a little bit more. 
Yeah, so I got all my desks using duplicates. And I'm going to show you, but you, but you probably say, wait a minute, I could use particles. Yes, you could use some particles for this, but it's a catch. I don't think part, uh, I'm not a particle guru. I got to deal with particles later on. But I don't think particles deal with uh, parenting objects. I don't know. I had to check that out one day. Particles, I think it got to be one joint solid objects. Man, let me hit the top. I want to show you something else. Tilde key, top view. But you may be saying, oh, look at this. Look at the tables. Look at my tables. It looks artificial. It does. Because all the books and all the pencils are in the same spot. Now, here's the beauty of it. From what I see, it's like all these tables are in all its own instance. It seemed like that. Now, I don't want to go changing the color. You could try if you want to, but I'm going to show you. It's, everyone seems to be unique. I have my mouse, this blue book. I'm just going to move it. Move it. Click on the blue book. You know I could rotate it, but I, I don't want to rotate. I just want to move it a little bit. Move the blue books a little bit. A little nudge. Move them up, move them down, etc. Here's my blue book. I just want to tilt it over. Another blue book, let's move it over. Another move, blue book, move it over, move it up. And I'll leave this exactly where my mouse is exactly as it is. I wanna take my green book. I just wanna rotate this one. I wanna take this one, just move it a little bit, just a little. Take this one, I just slide it over. I'll take this one. Let's push it up. This one, just rotate it some. This one, I'll leave it the same because sometimes some students do have the, the stuff in the exact same spot. Now I'm just going to go back and touch it up. I don't have to be perfect with it, but I want to touch it up as much as possible to make it look sort of uh, realistic. I don't have to, but you get the idea. I can move my, uh, my objects around. Oops, did that wrong name. Let me zoom in. I'm gonna book only. I can move the stuff, and now, like I said, in particles, I don't think you can do that. I ain't, I'm, I could rotate it, but you got the idea. Now I'm just gonna move my pencils around a little bit. I take this pencil, move it up. Just rotate it a little. I take this pencil, move it somewhere else. That's all, uh, that's to give us some randomness. So the classroom looks sort of look a little bit more organic. Take this pencil, just rotate it some. Take this pencil, just move it up a little bit more. Okay, now you see the classroom looks a little bit organic, a little bit more realistic. And I did all of this with uh collections i just duplicated them i never saw a video on that how to duplicate pup um duplicate those um collections so we see collections is far superior to a blender 2.79 and prior versions when all you could do was put an object on its own layer that was it from what i know you could not duplicate layer because it only had a, it only had twenty. You only had a maximum of twenty, but with collections, and I and I and I never saw it. You could not put a layer within a layer within a layer with collections. You have seen. I put a collection with a collect in the collections. I could have did it three collections deep, but I didn't want to. So you see right here the power of the duplicate collections. It has some features that are superior to particles. All of these. I'm going to click on one desk to see if my divvy work. I'm going to click on this desk right here. I want to change the color to a blue. Oops, I'm sorry. Well, can't do that. So all all the desks, I guess they, they're the same instance. So all I can do is just move them. Let me click on my book. I'm going to click on my green book and change it uh, to another color. Yeah, so all the books turn red. So, hey, it has its limits. 
So all of them are the same instance. They not no uh, unique copy. They make they may share the same. They say they share the same data space. But if you want to just move a physical object around, you could do that with no hassle using the collections. Thank you for stopping by, Blender family. As I say numerous times, you all see, even though I'm an educator by trade, I like doing this 3D, and my mind is always saying, what can I do to make myself better? Because you know for collections there, people, most of it, we just know how to use collections to a basic level. I took collections to a whole new level where you can uh, duplicate similar objects. Now, I may be able to make an exact copy, but you see, but at least I'm able to make duplicates. And with the duplicates, I can change the colors because they share the same data space, but I can actually move them in a physical world. So don't give up on your 3D aspirations, whether you are young, uh, in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s, 70s, 80s. 80 years old right now, probably be loving Blender. So don't stop. Keep pushing forward. I'm rooting for you. The Blender Foundation rooting for you. Tom Rosenthal rooting for you. And the Blender artists who are way more advanced than I am are rooting for you. Until the next time, Blender family, peace.